Here is the SketchUp model of a four-poster bed. This is a Sheraton style, built around 1800, 1790, something like that. And I'm right now working on the four posts, and notice that the the tail posts are more decorated than the head posts. Uh, here you can see a closer picture of the in SketchUp of the posts and notice that there are uh, made in two pieces that are then uh, connected together with a big dowel. So I'm right now working on the top part of the tail post that is reeded up in this section here and that's uh, in this bench uh, here. Uh, now that the template I create in SketchUp in full-size template and this is what I use to mark up on the lathe uh, while while turning. It's just on uh, cut out with an exacto knife on thick poster board and then I tacked it to a little stiff piece of uh, board to help uh, locate it on the on the lathe. Now these these uh, reeds I've begun to work on these reeds. There are 12 of them around the circumference. They change in size width as they uh, traverse this length. And I've, I've been using some hand tools to, to make these reeds. The first, well, first here you can see the pencil lines that I made on the lathe because I can index on the lathe. I have an indexer so I can get 12 uh, lines positioned properly on that circumference uh, with a pencil. And then the next step is to use a V-tool, a carving a V tool and and go over the pencil line with a V tool and get a groove that that you can see right here. Uh, I just set up the line pencil line in the middle there and then I just sometimes I find it easier just to better control this way. This is hard rock maple, so uh, it's a little bit harder to push by hand, and uh, this works quite well by tapping it. So you get a groove all the way down the length of that. And then I've created a little scraper blade, scraper shape, and it has a little pointed point on here. This is made from uh, uh, an old bandsaw blade that I ground off the teeth, and it's a nice thickness for these kind of scrapers. Then I shape it with files and sharpen it with diamond uh, uh, sharpening tools. Uh, so then I can s position that point right in a uh, one of these grooves made by the carving tool and then begin to deepen that groove and begin to also shape the reed. 
So this goes pretty fast. And I'll get it pretty deep in here. And then the next step is to do some more roundover of the reed and I've made two more little scraper blades with different shapes on the ends so that I can um, fit around the different widths of reeds and get a more rounded uh, shape with with this kind of a scraper okay. so that's the process I'll use for um, finishing out these 12 reeds <laughs>